Conclusions In this lecture, application of self-organizing maps MS to the authentication system using behavior biometrics is mentioned. In Section 3 and Section 4, the application of SOM to the authentication systems using pin calligraphy and keystroke timing are mentioned respectively. SOM is used to visualize the relations among the biometrics data of users, and is used to select the appropriate feature, and to select the appropriate patterns of behavior for authentication. For the authentication system using pin calligraphy, the pin speed data and pin pressure data is selected as the features, and drawing spiral or star on the screen are selected as the patterns of behavior. For the authentication system using keystroke timing, keystroke timing data typing Kirakira is selected as the behavior. These systems show superior performance considering the simplicity of these methods. However, using single behavior biometrics, enough accuracy is hard to be accomplished. In Section 5, the application of SOM to the authentication system using multimodal behavior biometrics is mentioned. As the multimodal behavior biometrics, pin calligraphy drawing the symbols and keystroke timing which are measured on tablet PC are used. Supervised Pareto Learning SOM SB SOM, which can integrate multimodal vector naively with supervised learning, is proposed, and applied to the analysis of multimodal biometric features and to the authentication system. The accuracy of authentication is improved compared with that of single behavior biometrics without disturbance from unreliable features. In Section 6, the application of SB SOM to the authentication system using multimodal behavior biometrics of keystroke timing and key typing sound is mentioned. These features can be measured simultaneously during typing a phrase. Additionally, the adaptive authentication system, which can follow the changes of biometrics by the time, is examined. The authentication system shows superior accuracy with following changes of keystroke timing by the time without disturbed by noises. As the practical authentication system, the unregistered users are detected using the size of the Pareto set and category magnitude of the user inputs. In Section 7, Concurrent Full PSOM CFB SOM, which uses small map for each user, is applied to the authentication system using multimodal behavior biometrics. CFP SOM is suitable for mobile system because it only needs the learning data of single user, in contrast, SP SOM needs the learning data of some users. CFP SOM classifies the registered user from unregistered users using the size of Pareto set. With adjusting the threshold of size of Pareto set, the accuracy becomes almost same or better compared with that of SP SOM. As the future work, the adaptive algorithm for CFP SOM should be developed. CFP SOM needs the adjustment of threshold to apply to authentication system, thus adaptive scheme for the threshold is required. Furthermore, P SOM and SB SOM is a generic extension of SOM, and it can be applied to many applications, which need both a visualization and classification by supervised learning. P SOM and SB SOM can be used to integrate the multiple objects for which distance metric is defined. The novel application from this point of view should be explored.